waiting to see in curiosity um, what will happen. This is a very serious matter on the island of Nevis because Nevis is not known for protests. Um, that is why this is um, a significant protest here today. And um, you can see the crowd on the sidelines is looking on um, in amazement at the protest that is happening here today. This sign here is reading no more secret deals. We need total transparency. Uh, vote and happy. And um, it's looking like the um, Nevis Reformation Party is going to address the crowd here at the um, Charleston Square. Good afternoon, everybody. We are here. With the new disinformation party, let's give all of us a round of applause for coming out this afternoon. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the new disinformation party. Let's hear it. For the Nevis Reformation Party, we have come to Charleston today to say things now go good. Do you agree that things are not going good? Do you agree that we have to protest? Do you agree that we have to continue to protest? Are you ready to protest? Do you want us to come back next week? Are you ready to change the government? Are you ready to change the government? Yes. I can't hear you. Yes. Are you ready to change the government? Yes. Are you going to vote against corruption? Yes. Are you going to vote against corruption? Yes. Are you going to help us find the 400 million dollars? Yes. Are you going to help us to find the 400 million dollars? Yes. And look at the protests. We are saying, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, we want better governance. Are you going to vote for accountability? Are you going to vote for good governance? Are you going to vote for young people to get work? Are you going to vote for young people to get work? Do you believe young people should get work? Okay, I hear you. Young people, do you want work? Yes. Well, you know, in 1970 when the NRP was formed, we were children. They tell us, if you want rule, come a tongue. If you want rights, come a tongue. So young people, if you want work, come a tongue on Friday afternoon for the Nevis Reformation Party. We'll share with you opportunities for work. Ladies and gentlemen, do you want opportunities for skills training and education? Yes. Can I hear you? Do you want education and training? Yes. Well, this is the party that will bring you education and training. And so, brothers and sisters, as members and friends and well-wishers of the people of Nevis, we in the NRP say, time to wake up. Do you agree? Time to wake up and protest. Do you agree? Time for us to wake up, wake up and protest. And so we have come this afternoon and we have our candidates with us. We have five candidates rearing and ready to go. And so we are going to bring them to speak to you briefly and then we will have some entertainment and we will take, give you the chance to cool and relax with one another. So the pleasure is mine to call to us 
to speak to us now, the woman who is, who have the fella in St. John's going around telling people, Lord, me no harm, the woman beat me, but the woman must bat him. You agree with me? We can put the woman to bat him. You agree with me? You go around St. John's telling people, if you no want no woman beat you, if you no want no woman beat you, do your work. That's why we mother does beat us. When you don't want your mother beat you, you do your work. You don't want the woman beat you, you do your work. So he now do no work, so he must be beaten by Dr. Patricia Bartlett. Agreed? Agreed? He now do no work, so he must be beaten by Dr. Patricia Bartlett. So I come now to speak to you, I call to speak to you, Dr. Patricia Bartlett. Good afternoon, people. Anyway, this afternoon, people, we are here to protest. We have a lot to protest about. But you know what? They told me, go easy. They said this afternoon, just focus on the fact that when I go to the supermarket, I cannot afford the food. I have to be putting back stuff. Last year, last year, I knew when I went to buy a box of chicken. The chicken was costing me fifteen dollars. Now this afternoon, when I go, it's thirty-three dollars. So that means that inflation and just chicken alone is a hundred percent. And guess what? We're not getting any relief, and that I think is the troubling thing. Because when we elect a government, we elect a government to hear the cries of the people and respond in kind. This afternoon we came with a silent protest and they sent police with machine gun and all the kind of gun, the men know what kind of gun they be really. I mean that is what you call a disproportionate that is what you call a disproportionate response. Because if I am silent, whatever I send a sign a gun for me for that is no need. What we are saying is people are crying out because inflation is too high. Respond to that. Don't respond to the couple of us who come in town and say that we don't like it and we have placards. Respond to the fact that me vision cannot afford to buy food. Me vision cannot afford to buy the basic necessities when they go to the supermarket today. So when we talk about inflation, let the Premier address that because that is an issue for all of us, not just some of us. It's true some of them continue to eat lobster and that is okay. But what happened to the rest of us? That is what the question is. When weight is being shared, it should be shared for all of us to get our equal share. And that is all that we are asking. We are not asking for any handouts. What we are saying is, when people are in distress and you would have taken an oath that you're going to do the best that you can for them, we expect you to deliver. And that is what is not happening. And that is why when election is called, whenever they decide they're going to call it, we have to make sure that we send them home. Yes. They have not been, they have not yes. been delivering. They give you all kind of promises, but they have not been delivering. In response to the cries of the divisions, the last government in St. Kitts decided that yes, they recognize that people are hurting. They recognize that inflation was way out of control. And what did they do? They say, well, for civil servants, you're going to give you a 10% increase on your salary. Ask the visions. Ask the visions. Those who have, right now, who have the courage to speak up, ask them what the response was. Because when people in Bastia got their 10%, people in Sandy Point got their 10%, even people in St. Paul's, where dog live, even they got their 10%. The visions, what did you get? What did you get, the visions? You got a mega, 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 five percent. So what does that mean? Five percent? It means that the person who was taking home three hundred and sixty dollars a week, instead of getting an extra thirty-three dollars to make them come closer to four hundred dollars a week, 
they cut it in half. It means that I only get sixteen dollars and change, sixteen dollars and fifty six cents. No, you and I go supermarket, and I can ask my friend over here. When you go to supermarket, the smallest bottle of sweet oil costs twenty dollars and plus. You can't even buy a sweet oil the smallest bottle of sweet oil with the increase that some people got. Now tell me that that is conscience. And what did they do with the five percent that they had? They took the five percent and put it in election. Yeah. Eh? That is for the people with conscience. They took the five percent and they put it in words. That's all the people with conscience. They're not in tune with us. They're not representing us. They're representing their own interests. And for that reason, I said to our people, inflation is gonna get worse. Yeah, yeah. But guess what? Okay, okay. You can feel better if you were to elect the NRP. Because we understand the struggle and we would respond in kind. So I'm saying to you, when they come this time around and they soon come with the bag, they would have sent the message ahead that you should take the money and vote them out. Now, I don't believe in bribery. Not on this side, that is the thing. They have mastered that. Let them pull onto that. Bribery is wrong. And for all who didn't know, this afternoon I'm telling you, bribery is illegal. So when you see our highest representative in Nevis coming with the black, the blue bag, the blue bag, I'm not going to tell you take the money and vote them out. I'm going to just tell you, do what you have to do, but vote them out. Vote them out. Vote them out. Vote them out. Because they don't deserve to represent people. It is not fair what is happening in Nevis. Inflation sky high and they're all over the place. All over the place making mock of Nevis people. Because what? We don't deserve the same thing that they deserve. Now, we have a plan. I can tell you, we have a plan to address this issue. Because I think that our people deserve relief. Our people deserve relief. Not just what you see you're getting now, because I've warned you before that if you don't pay on the front end, you don't pay on the back end. The last time I went to pay bills, my electricity bill was less than my water bill. Now tell me, that makes sense? It does not make sense. And when things seem too good to be true, then most of the time they are too good to be true. It means this is just an election ploy. They want to make you feel good. But shortly after the election, they're going to drop it back on you. Don't ask nobody if Pat says so. Tell people that Pat says so. Right? If you don't pay on the front end, you're going to pay on the back end. Because guess what? They have not budgeted for you and me. So when you're getting and you think it's relief, it's not going to last long. It is not going to last long. It's just like vapor. Poof! And just like the 400 million poof and went like that, it's the same way it's going to go. So I'm asking our people to be vigilant. I'm asking our people to ask them the hard questions when they come to your gate. Because guess what? They're not going to come back to all of your gates, you know, because they know that they have not treated you well. But those of you who they think that they can influence it, money, not their money, you know, your money, because they're silently selling the country in order to pay you to keep them in power. So I'm saying, don't keep your eyes, take your eyes off the ball. The visions, you're accustomed to playing cricket. Don't let them clean all you. Don't let them fool you with a faster one and hold back on the next one. Make sure you are vigilant. Don't let them fool you twice. It's okay for a man to fool you the first time, but it would be on you if you let him fool you a second time. Keep your eyes on the prices in this supermarket that are going up and your salary remains the same. That has been my message this afternoon. I came in town to protest against the inflation. That not us inflation because I want to protest against inflation. But it's the fact that the government has done nothing to help you through this period. Such a trying period. For most families, a lot of families were struggling before. And it's even worse now. And I'm saying if they don't help you now, when would they help you? They would never help you. They have not demonstrated that they have a will to help you. So I'm saying, keep your eyes on the food prices. Keep your eyes on all the things that are going up in the supermarket, knowing full well that they have done nothing to help you. But there is help on the way. Yeah.
I said, there's help on the way. When you see Dr. Janice Daniel Hodge over in St. James shop, give her your vote. Because she means well, and she ever watch your staff. When you see Cleo on step, and shows up on your doorstep, give her your support. She means well. She doesn't want to see you staff either. And when you get into Charlestown and JDK come to knock on your door, open, have conversations with her. And then on the election, they make sure you go out and support her. Because it's all about empathy for the people. It's all about watching people do better. We want our people to do better, not worse. And that is what is happening. And of course, people in St. George's, it's about time you start voting in your best interest. Look, about, look at St. George's. I'm not saying that anybody up there is starving because they have a lot of food, of bread, food, and all the rest of it. But they could be doing better. They could be doing better. And I'm saying it's about time that you gave Rohan a chance. Give Rohan a chance. He's a bright boy. He has ideas. Ideas you never hear. You never hear Rohan and Mumbai cussing nobody. Man, that is not the level at which he's going to approach you because he means well and he is focusing on the issues and the issue of inflation meaning something to your hand. And so when you come in St. John's and the last time we beat him, he had to go out of a standard of Mingo to look help. Now he got him out of New York looking help all over the globe. Who knows? He just coming up on Taiwan. Next thing you know, I am going to set up. But next thing you know, he getting help from all the way over there. And I'm saying, this time along, we have to send a resounding message yeah. to him yeah. that he has had the opportunity to serve. He fooled a lot of people. I tell you, he even fooled me. I voted the man in 2017, voted for him. And in 2018, I realized that I had what they call buyer's remorse. I was like, Lord God, I couldn't believe that I would have done something like that. I trusted the man. Imagine that. And I gave him my vote. And by the next year, I was ready to take it back. And I know a lot of people out there were in the same position. You thought that you would get better. There's no wrong in that. I would not crucify your soul for that because they made the same mistake. But let us not make the same mistake again. Yeah. The same chance when I come. Yeah. I ain't come to look nothing. Yeah. I live on the hill too. But I don't want my swimming pool because I can't swim. So that I don't want my eye of good. You know, the, the station I'm in life that I am now, i good with it. So when I come, I come on your behalf. Yes. I came for better for you. Yes. Give Patricia Barclay your vote. Yes. Give Patricia Barclay yes. your vote. Yes. She means well. Yes. She doesn't like to see people suffer. I didn't let your stuff to happen. It's long time. Long time. So when they come, tell them it's about time we change for the better. It's about time we start looking out for new visions. We deserve better. The visions are saying we deserve better. Give yourself a chance. Give yourself the opportunity to do better. To excel in your own space. You should not go elsewhere to be a big shot. You should be able to be a big shot right here. Because you went to school and better than a lot of people. You did better than a lot of people. Why should all people be home sitting down and other people working? That ain't right. That is not right. Opportunities should be extended to everybody, whether you wear a green shirt, a white shirt, or no shirt. So I say, when I have to be it's time to come out. Between now and election, I can't turn you in. And even if they did as soon after, the next morning, they have a job back. So come out and rally. Send a message to them that they have failed us. They have failed us. They have failed to control inflation. They have failed to control a lot of things and it's about time that they change. They only gave me five minutes and I'm over and they're watching me back. So I love the people. It was a pleasure. And we're looking forward to having you follow the campaign because we're going to be debating issues, something that they're afraid of. God bless you. People could swim, but you just sell me. <laughs> anyway, there is always a little difference in the usual. So, this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, the pleasure is mine.
to call the man who has to go open up ginger land. Lord, everything shut down up there. The market shut, the library shut, the health center shut. Everything shut down up there. So I call the man with the ideas. And you know what I say? Rohan is the man with the plan. Rohan is the man with the plan for Gingerland. Rohan, the man with the plan for Gingerland. So Rohan, come to open up Gingerland, Lord, I beg you. Thank you. Hello, happy people. Yeah. Me, Mr. Pimpe. Yeah. Well, it's been a while. I took a break. But I'm back and I'm primed and ready. They saying Ginger and nobody was gonna vote for me. And I had a man up the sweating in places he didn't even know he had. But this time around we're gonna make him sweat, we're gonna put him to sleep. Because it is time as the visions that you choose you. So I'm going to take my five minutes and I'm going to talk about choosing you. You see, we have a government in the last seven years that has not chosen you. Thirteen million dollars each of the park upgrade. They did not choose you. They still there waiting. Six million dollar taxi pay at early. They did not choose you. Incomplete. In 2020, when World Bank and financial leading institutions said you need to give poor people some liquidity some money they said there was no money there was no money until they needed to pay the roads in Charleston they did not choose you when Karen tried to run our children off of Island Beach they did not choose you today we are still waiting for that public apology we had our kind of run around when we had the stories of those young men and women who needed their severance, he said that was a federal issue. Oh, they did not oh, choose yeah. you. Oh, when the non-established workers cried, begged and pleaded, that too was a federal issue. Lord. Only now in the face of a local election we hear things gonna change. They did not choose you. 10% increase across the board. Well, some say it was 50. They said no money, they don't give five, and then five, and then five. Well, the economy now move. I want to know they're going to be five. Stand up the five to give you. They did not choose you. And as Dr. Bartlett said, they put that into political campaign. But they kept them 10 one. Oh yeah, they went to the 10. They don't have a problem taking the one. They've always done it. That is what they've always done. Ensure that their pockets are aligned. Because when there was investment opportunities for neighbors, they did not choose you. But somebody got enough shares to the tune of more than 100 million. When it was time to pay the honorarium, they did not choose you. There were excuses. They had to go populate list. Well, I don't understand how you got to populate list when you create the list in the first place. You should know who are working front line. You are responsible for that. But you chose. I care. You chose to ignore the people of needs. And now you come a begging. An election is near. And you are asking the visions to choose you. When on every occasion you should have chosen the visions, you did not. And so the visions, it is no time for you to choose you. Yeah. And the only way you can choose you yeah. is to vote for the Nevis Reformation Party. The only way you can choose you is to line up yourselves with prosperity. The only way you can choose you is to make sure you have opportunities that will grant you your grandchildren and your children's children children into the future some sustainability in your lives yes. you can only do that if you vote 
to the Leaders Reformation Board. You see, we have time and time again been the rescuers of Levis. In the 1970s, it was Dr. Simeon Daniel and his crew who came to the rescue of Levis saying, listen, the troubles to Bas, you should be no more. The suffering of Nevision shall be no more. Then you turned over the ship. Don't blame you. Right to choose. And slowly the ship began to decline until it was almost underwater and here came J.W. Parry in 2008 and 2010 facing a world recession and the ravages of Hurricane Omar rescued Nevis again Nevisions you must choose you yeah. and the only way you can choose you is to vote for the Nevis Reformation yeah. now we have faced one of the worst financial well that have them for the worst health crisis we are facing under the years of pandemic and everything that they should have done they ignored there was no plan for recovery and so now heading into another recession lord help us divisions if you do not vote leave this reformation party as they would say what be unto you and as we don't say crap up and smoke your pipe and that better than you it is time to rise up recognize where your best bets are it is with the leaders reformation party yeah. your hope depends on it your children's future depends on it and your now is best vested in the leaders reformation party yeah. it is time that you choose you that is what you ought to do choose you and in the space that we are in, reeling from COVID, the failures of this government, the inability to account for more than a billion dollars, I know we like to say 500 million, but don't forget that they collected revenue in Evis. Look around the place and tell me if you see a billion dollars. The man say you're working on it. Well, follow out to class and see if you find any quick up, give me there. He say you're seeing it. Well, if I see it, I want to be able to take it. Where? How? Where? Where? When? Have you seen a billion dollars look like we are still way behind the development of a world that is moving far ahead? This government has no heart. Imagine in COVID, they said to struggling families who have no devices. We're going to buy some devices and we're going to lend you. And we're going to lend you some internet. But we ain't going to tell you when we're taking back the internet. And if you have to put a scratch on the, the device, you're going to buy a new one. That is a government that says people matter most. As the songwriter said, people don't matter more, no more to them. And so, if we are to climb out of the gutter we are in, Lady to my right is going to have to lead Davis to a new promised land. It is going to have to be a new Daniel that sets Davis on a path to lasting prosperity. It is going to have to be a new Daniel that transforms our economy and brings new job opportunities and a new hope to our people. And this Daniel leads a party that is ready that is honest, that is accountable, that is committed to the well-being of the visions and residents. My friends, five minutes is a short time. Join us on the campaign. We're lighting a fire under your feet so that you can begin to move in a direction that calls you to your lasting prosperity. That is why I am at the Nevis Reformation Party. I am in Charleston, but Ginger, and hear me, and hear me well. There is a new dawn coming. There is a new hope on the horizon. There is a better way for you. Your prosperity comes now. Nevis, there shall be no prosperity unless it comes to Ginger and Ginger and my name is Rohan Michael Ives. I know I can help. Thank you, and a wonderful afternoon.
Thank you very much, Rohan. Do you agree with him that we have to get a new dawn is coming? Yes. Do you agree that there is a dawn of a new day coming? Yes. And you know who is going to be at the front of the dawn? Yes. We are going to welcome the political leader of the Nevis Reformation Party. St. James people, this is your candidate for the Nevis elections. St. James, are you ready for Janice? Can yeah. I hear you? St. James, the political leader is coming your way. And so we bring Janice to speak to you. Shasta? Yes. Nevis people? Yes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I am so happy to see so many of you here because I am here as the leader of NRP to let you know that Nevis is going to be nice again. Nevis is going to be nice again. And why Nevis is going to be nice again? Because NRP understands what it means to run a country. NRP understands that in government you must perform. You must perform. And NRP understands that it is the responsibility of government to ensure that we have jobs for our people, for our young people, for our young struggling mothers. NRP understands that it is our responsibility to ensure that the people in Nevis can be nice again. Yes. Now we understand Nevis can only be nice again if the government changes. And when we say change must come, you understand that change must come in order for Nevis to be nice again. Now I just give you a little peep into understanding what government is about. On the NRP, we brought the Bank of Nevis. Yes, we brought the Four Seasons Hotel. Yes, we brought Boney Communications. Yes, we brought NEPAC. We had the airport working. And it wasn't because we just wanted these things to work. We understood that this is how you provide jobs for your people. Yes. And the sad thing is that we look at our premier right now and says if a business wants to leave, it's a business decision. They can just leave. Now when we would have taken so much and given to businesses in concessions, after they have made their profits, they can just walk away. No, not on the NRP. Because I am saying, you get concessions to put a business here, and you employ people here, you cannot just walk away from Browning Communications and leave so many people unemployed. No, there are consequences. And so we are saying, we understand. We understand that development in Nevis is about helping the people of Nevis. And when you do not understand your responsibility in government, you will get a project to build a park. One of the few projects that you get. And rather than giving your people here work, you, put, you took the project and brought in workers. How do our people feel? The projects that we are seeing now, our people are still not getting the jobs that they need, still not getting the breaks. And we are saying the only way that Nevis can get back on its feet is when we recognize that you must create jobs. And of course you can tell by now that my focus is on jobs. Because we have struggling mothers who need jobs. We have so many children coming out of school each year. And they sit at home. And they're very good at playing games. But there are no opportunities for them. Well, NRP understands that we must provide opportunities yes. for the youth. Yes. We must provide opportunities. And we understand that no longer can we sit back and say we have the sun and the sand and the sea. Everybody has that. We have our natural resources that we can capitalize on. That others people see as of no value. But we are telling you, on the NRP, we have plans to create employment opportunities for our youth in areas that you have not experienced before. We can tell you, businesses close and no replacement. We can tell you when we look at what is happening, and we speak about, for example, our mangoes, 
that go to waste each year. Each year the island is full with mangoes and they're not used in any meaningful way. When we are telling you on the NRP, we recognize it's not about saving the mangoes, it's about saving our people and providing jobs for our people. And this is why NRP must be in government to provide hope for the future, to provide hope for our youth. And so I'm saying to you today, I'm saying to you today, many of you do not come out. Many of you feel that I'm going to wait. I am saying to you, now is the time. Now is the time. Now is the time because if we wait, we may hear, too late. Too late shall be your cry. Now is the time. When we speak about providing job opportunities, we don't mean providing two or three jobs for one person. When you look at the federal ministers, all three of them go down to St. Kitts in opposition. Why are they in opposition? Because they did not work. They did not work and they felt that they could take their fools and make people believe that yes, we are the right thing for you. But they're down in St. Kitts now, rejected to form part of the cabinet. But guess what? They still have to go down to work. You listen to the bills being passed. You listen to skipper bills being passed. And the ministers who should be in Nevis, taking care of Nevis, have to be sinkers, trying to tell them how they can improve their bills. That is not correct. We hear our good friend Carbo speak about small businesses, morning, noon, and night. And our ministers are in sinkers, trying to advance small businesses in sinkers and neglect the small businesses here. We are saying, now is the time when we should have equal access to job opportunities. There is no reason why your minister in the federal government should also be a minister here. You're going to be ne neglected. The people of Nevis is going to be neglected. And we have recognized that over and over again. Because only when we are neglected can you sit in parliament for seven years and not enact the charge on a call. Only when Nevis is being neglected can you have a simple letter to get your thermal online and that is neglected. And so we are saying, we are saying in Nevis, in Nevis, we must look after ourselves. We in Nevis, we understand what it is to look after ourselves. So that when the honorarium is paid in St. Kitts, we can pay our own honorarium here. We in Nevis understand that whatever we get from St. Kitts is supposed to be gravy. As I say, not when St. Kitts can pay civil servants, we cannot pay civil servants over here. And when you look at the fact that no new jobs have been brought to Nevis, no new foreign investment, how can we expect to grow our economy? We look at our fisheries. The minister responsible for fisheries at the local level and the federal level and allow a brand new fisheries complex to disappear. Brand new fisheries complex and our fishers continue to struggle. The fisheries complex did not mean just a fisheries complex. It would have provided an opportunity for our youth, for our women to get involved in creating uh, uh, fish sticks and different fish products. But when you do not understand, when you do not understand that it is your responsibility to provide jobs for the people, then you act in a manner that is neglectful. When a young woman is going to call and say she needs some help to take care of a child, and you're going to say, but your nails look good, and your hair look good, so you don't need no help then. That tells you that they expect to see you in raggedy clothes. They expect to see you at your lowest level before they feel that they need to put something in place to help you. I am saying to you, NRP understands. We are here to serve the people, not to serve ourselves. We are here to provide jobs for the people, not to provide jobs for ourselves. We are here to enrich the people, not to enrich ourselves. And I say to you, when you look for accountability, when you look for transparency, when you look for fresh ideas to create new job opportunities, and, and I, I just want to say, when you look at Dr. Bartlett and what she represents and what she brings to the NRP ticket, you must say, now is the time to vote for Dr. Bartlett. Now is the time. My good friend Rohan Ayers, when you listen to him speak, 
you can hear the compassion. You can feel it thundering inside you because he's a man who always speaks about humanity and the need to ensure that we look after our each other as we look after ourselves. Miss J.D. Keynes, unfortunately she's at work and she's not here yet. But when you listen to J.D. and you see the passion and you see all that she would have done in her community, this is the time for J.D. Keynes. And when you look at Honorable Claire Stapleton Simmons, as part of the delegation in Taiwan right now, Prime Minister Joe Fabman did not feel comfortable just going over there with those CCM people. Took along Honorable Claire Stapleton Simmons to ensure that the people of Nevis can benefit from Nevis representation abroad. And, and I am saying to you, Honorable Claire Stapleton Simmons, in number five, they said they're going to go all blue this time. They said they're going to go all blue. But you see, when they put the map of picture all blue, the map of Nevis, they forget that the blue is in the water, and they like to buy water. The green is on the land. And so I am saying, our people look to NRP to find jobs in Nevis. Some people like to buy water. We don't want to buy water. We want to have jobs right here in Nevis. And for our health services, we want back our dialysis machines at the hospital. Yes, we don't want to bang water like them. They like to bang water. We don't like to bang water. Nevis can take care of itself. We did it before on the NRP. And we can do it again. I'm saying change must come. Change must come. Change must come. And now is the time for change to come. Thank you, everybody. I'm going to end where she ended and ask the question so that we can, DJ, you have some music for us, right? Good. Do you agree that change must come? Yes. Are you going to work for the change? Yes. But staying home and doing vote doesn't bring the change. Yes. So tell your mother, tell your cousin, tell your guru, great grandfather, all of those people there, your cousin, your friends, that change must come. And so we are here this afternoon because change must come. And you know something? This Friday afternoon, you all don't feel excited about the Nevis Reformation Party? You all not feel excited? So if we come back next week, are you coming again? Alright, alright. So we got to come back next week because from now until when we ring the bell, it's pressure from the Nevis Reformation Party. So DJ, DJ, take it down for us and have a good evening everybody and thank you very much for coming out to rumble with the